Don't think. Don't stop thinking about it. Just act. Just execute. Execution, action, is the one thing that you can do in this world that will help you accomplish your goals. It is so easy. It is so easy to spiral into the trap of overthinking. You know, you can sit here and you can plan and you can over plan and you can overthink and you'll never get anything done. And I'm not saying that that planning does not have its place, but this is a community of learners and thinkers. Most of us have some form of education. And I mean, this is an education channel. So naturally we are taught to analyze, to use critical thinking skills, to plan before we act. And so I think it's a really good reminder to tell yourself to stop overthinking. Don't think, just act. The samurai were ancient Japanese warriors. And these warriors they could not hesitate in battle. One of the things with the samurai was this philosophy where they had to act first and think later, because if they hesitated, they would die, right? They would die. We don't live in feudal Japan anymore. We live in the modern world. We have air conditioning, we have houses, we have electricity. People aren't beheading each other. But the way of the samurai, even though they lived in dark times, can still be applied today. Do not hesitate. Do not overthink. Take action. Don't get stuck in the trap of, oh, what's the best way to do this? Maybe I'm going to, you know, study this for five days and this for five days and this for 10 days. And then you never get anything done, right? You have to take action, my friends. You have to take action. Action is the only thing you can do in this world that is going to lead to results. It is the only thing you can do, right? Because thinking is not going to help you. Thinking is not going to change your life. I mean, it'll help you plan, but nothing is going to come from your thoughts. It's all in your head. You know, if you go outside in the world, it's a big world. People are all stuck in their own heads. They all have their own lives. Everyone is focusing on themselves, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Or there's nothing wrong with trying to have a better life. But people tend to overthink. And I think this is especially true a lot of times for people who are, in some sense, highly educated in some sense. I'm not saying highly educated people overthink, but I mean, it takes a lot of thinking to learn mathematics, right? Or physics, or become an electrical engineer, or learn a new programming language and learn about linked lists. I mean, it's a lot of work. It's hard. You have to sit there with a book and a piece of paper and a pencil and, and just grind. It's hard. It's not easy. So education teaches us to think. It almost, it's almost like it teaches us to overthink. So anytime you have to do any life decision, you think about it carefully and you analyze. And that's okay, but just don't get caught in the trap of overthinking, right? And I, and I think the best way to do that is say, hey, I want to I wanna learn advanced calculus, or I want to get a better job, or I want to know what the best way to do X, Y, Z is. So you do the research quickly, and then you take action. And sometimes just, just take action first. You know, a lot, of, a lot of great business leaders, this is a very common one, they have this, this philosophy where they act first and revise later. Here's, here's a simple exercise. It's, it's called the, the one breath rule. Okay, the one breath rule. And this is not my rule, okay? 
you take a deep breath, think about what you wanna do, and then you exhale and you make the decision. So like if you're trying to decide whether you should study physics or mathematics tonight, mathematics, and then you do it. If, if it was the wrong choice, you revise later. And this is, this is a very common strategy, which is described, I'm sure in many books, that is used by many very famous rich people, many CEOs of companies use this philosophy where they act first, they try something, and if it doesn't work, then they revise it. Because if you spend all your time overthinking and planning, you end up having, you know, 10 meetings where everyone's just coming up with ideas. No one's, do, you have to act. Action is the only thing that leads to results. Action, action, action. So don't overthink and take action. So today, I want you to do something. That is the side quest that I am giving you in this video. The quest is the following. When this video is over, I want you to do one thing, one thing to work towards your goals, just one. If you want to learn mathematics, do a math problem or more, but get started. If you want to learn how to code, write a couple lines of code. If you want to get in shape, go for a walk, go for a run, go to the gym. If you want to get a better job, apply for a job, even if you're not qualified, right? Take action. Action, action, action. Action is the only thing in this world that leads to results. It is the only thing that you can do, right? Because if you're stuck in your head thinking, nothing is going to come from your thoughts. Your thoughts benefit you and they help you make better decisions, but it is the moment that you act, that is when results happen. Action, action, action. If you, if you take a day, if you take tomorrow, let's say, you wake up tomorrow and you live your whole day in action mode, the whole day you're like, action, action, action. I have to take action. Just. Everything you do has to be an action towards your goals. It's gonna be one of the most productive days in your life. You're, you're gonna be like, oh my God. You're, you're gonna think it's insane. Action. If you have that mentality, it, it just kills procrastination. Action, action, action. Don't think, just act, just execute. Live like the samurai, live like the samurai. I have books that discuss these principles. They're on Amazon. Some of the good ones are real superpowers that will change your life. I like that one. That one's pretty good. Philosophy for winners. I like that one too. That's one of my better ones. I like philosophy. There's a lot of great thinkers throughout history and we can learn from other great thinkers and take action on those principles. And I have a deeper one, it's called The Center Manifesto. That one's a little bit deeper, probably my deepest book. That's a very special book, Getting Goosebumps. I carry that book with me everywhere I am. Action, my friends, action. Check out my courses. I've got math courses, algebra, calculus, differential equations, Calc 2, Calc 3, trigonometry. I mean, so many math courses. They're all on Udemy, which is a reputable website. If you get them, please use the links from the description of this video or from my website, mathsorcerer.com. Otherwise, you know, Udemy takes a huge cut. So check those out. Pretty good courses. They're based on college level material. I taught college for about 12 years. Don't overthink, you know, I, I know, I know so many smart people in this world. I've met so many incredibly smart people. I've had the privilege of knowing people from all over the world. And overthinking is like one of the biggest causes of failure because People overthink and they don't act. Therefore, they never reach with their goals, right? They just, they just plan and plan and plan. Don't get stuck in that trap, which it's, it's so easy to get stuck in it. And you have to be aware of it. 
you have to be self-aware because as thinkers, again, as a community of learners and thinkers, that's what this is, right? This is an education channel. This is the math sorcerer channel. We tend to overthink because we're trained. We are trained to overthink. We are trained to analyze and there's nothing wrong with that. But we also have to be trained to realize that, hey, wait a minute, we've spent enough time planning. Now it's time to get to work. Now it's time to take that first step. Now it's time to take action. And that is your side quest today, my friends. Make that first move. Get to work. Stay strong.